Now let's look at uh, these three pictures and write down their fractions. So basically these all are 5 over 8 because 5 parts out of the 8 parts are colored. Now if I want to write all of these three together, what would I do? I'm going to add all these three. So I say 5 over 8 plus 5 over 8 plus 5 over 8 and that becomes 15 over 8. That means I'm adding the same thing again and again. But when we do this repeated addition, what is it called? We know that repeated addition is really a multiplication. So instead of uh, adding 5 over 8 3 times, can I simply multiply 5 over 8 by 3? Yes, I can do that. Because you know in the whole numbers, say for example 2, rather than saying 2 plus 2 plus 2 equal to 6, I can say 2 multiplied by 3 equal to 6. So similarly, I can say 5 over 8 multiplied by 3 is 15 over 8. So this is my multiplication. So this is how I am multiplying a fraction by a whole number. Now if you look at the product, what do you see? You see that the numerator is multiplied by the whole number because 5 threes are 15 and the denominator is same. So what we see is that when you are multiplying a fraction by a whole number, you multiply the numerator by the whole number and the denominator remains the same. Let's look at one more example. 4 over 7 multiplied by 6. So what we will what we'll do? We will multiply 6 by 4. So 6 4s are 24. The denominator remains the same. Now the next thing we will see is how to multiply a fraction by another fraction. Now look at this picture. This is a fraction 1 over 2. Now this next picture is taking half of that half. The first fraction represents half and the second fraction shows half of that half which is really one fourth of the rectangular strip. So I can say that when I multiplied one half by another one half the answer was one over four or a quarter. So what did I do really when I look at the answer? I can see that we have multiplied the numerators and we have multiplied the denominators. That means when you multiply two fractions what you do? You multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. Let's take one more example. Now this is 3 over 5 multiplied by 1 over 4. So we multiply the numerators answer is 3, we multiply the denominators, answer is 20. So the answer is 3 over 20. Now is it correct? Can we check uh, using some diagram, some picture? Let's do that. Now the first one, the first diagram is showing you 3 over 5. Why? Because there are these 5 columns. Out of 5, 3 columns are selected. So the first uh, picture is showing you 3 over 5. Now out of this, I am going to take 1 over 4. Right? I am multiplying that by 1 over 4. So I am taking 1 fourth of this. So you see that there are 4 rows. Out of that, I am only taking 1 row. So that becomes 3 parts out of the 20 parts. So our answer matches with the diagram. So when I select 1 fourth of the 3 over 5 fraction, I really get 3 over 20. Let's take a look at one more example. 2 over 7 multiplied by 5 over 8. 5 twos are 10. 7 eights are 56. So the fraction is 10 over 56. But is it in the lowest term? No. So let's divide 
the numerator and the denominator by 2 and we get 5 over 28 and this is the lowest term we cannot reduce it further so this is how we multiply two fractions or you can apply the same thing to more than two fractions if i have three or four fractions i can multiply all the numerators and i can multiply all the denominators to get the product now let's look at this word problem here raj bought one and half kg of sweets and he ate two third of it so how much did he eat so one and half is a mixed number so let's first convert that to an improper fraction so two ones are two plus one is three three over two is a is an improper fraction so we will multiply three over two by two over three because he ate two third of it so 3 2s are 6 and 2 3s are 6. The answer is 6 over 6 means 1. That means Raj ate 1 kg of sweets. Now this example is easy to represent in a diagram. So we can represent, we can, we can draw a diagram for that and verify that. Every time it might not be feasible to draw a diagram and check if our answer is correct or uh, if the product is indeed what we came up with. But in this case, let's do that because it is pretty easy to do it. So there are these three squares. Each of it is representing half a kg. So together the three squares represent one and half kg. So two out of these three squares make it one kg. That means he has eaten one kg of sweets.